Editing a six hour VOD is never fun or fast. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can completely change your workflow when editing from Twitch VODs. Using the built-in stream markers that Twitch offers is a great first step, but there are still a lot of issues associated with working with those huge VOD files. The tool I'm showing you today will handle all of these issues, saving you time, energy, and frustration. This tool, developed by my good friend Alka, will take a full VOD file and split it into little clips based on those stream markers. Using this tool, you end up with a lot of very small, short clips and your editing software cuts through them like butter. Before we go any further, I wanna mention that this is a very early access and beta version of a tool like this. There are definitely still gonna be some kinks. You or whoever you're editing for needs to use stream markers during their stream. Otherwise, all of this is for none. Also, this tool does work on Windows and Mac. You do have to have FFmpeg installed for this to work. I'm not gonna go over how to install FFmpeg in this video, but I will leave a link to a Windows tutorial and a Mac tutorial below. At this point, you should have FFmpeg installed and you should have a stream with markers at your disposal. First, go into the highlighter for that specific VOD. As you can see here, you're able to see all of the markers, but what we're interested in here is the dots here in the bottom right. Click this and then download the stream markers as a CSV. Next, you're gonna to wanna to download this VOD. Once you have the VOD saved, your folder should look something like this. At this point, you're ready to open the Twitch Clipper tool. Once you have this tool up, go ahead and open the CSV. Opening in Notepad or Text Edit for Mac is fine for this process. In the video input file name, you wanna input the exact file name of your VOD. Very important to include the .mp4. Output clips folder name is gonna be the folder which you want the clips to go into. I usually just use clips. At this point, it's very important to make a new folder in the same directory as your VOD and call it exactly the same as whatever you call the output clips folder name. An important note here is that the VOD and the folder for the clips must be adjacent in the same directory. The clip file name you will most likely want to leave as is. Basically what this will do is call marker number one clip 001 marker two, clip 002, and so on. Folder slash direction should be checked if you're using Windows, and it should be unchecked if you're using Mac. Seconds before will be exactly how many seconds before that marker timestamp the clip starts, whereas seconds after will be how long after the marker the clip continues. Next, you'll see bitrate and encoding presets. I typically use the same exact bitrate that the streamer uses. Medium usually works pretty well. At this point, open up that CSV file, select all and copy. Then in the CSV input box, go ahead and paste the entire CSV. Time offset is used when you have a highlight instead of a VOD and that highlight doesn't start at the very beginning of the stream. Say the highlight starts at one hour, 30 minutes. You'd wanna change this to a one hour, 30 minute time offset. However, if whatever you're working with starts at the very beginning of the VOD, you can ignore this and leave it at zero. We'll come back to the skip clips counts. And at this point, you're ready to generate your code. Now you may see this warning here. So basically, what this means is that this code for all of these clips that we have is too long. So you have to do this in multiple processes in the command prompt. In the event that you have more than about 60 clips, this will probably bring up this warning. At this point, you need a command prompt window open in this directory. The easiest way to do that is to click up here in the address bar, go to the beginning and type CMD space, and then hit enter. Then go back to the Twitch Clipper tool. If it's giving you the character limit warning, select the first 60 clips. Otherwise, you can select all of them. Then go back to your command prompt window, paste it in, and hit enter. At this point, it should be running smoothly. And if you open the clips folder, you'll see your clips start to produce. If you do exceed the character limit like here, you can split this code. That's where this skip clips count comes in. So right there, we copied the first 60 clips. You just simply put in 60 into the skip clips count, then regenerate the code. And then it'll tell you that there's 105 clips, but we're minusing the 60 that we're skipping. So there are 45 clips left. But as you see here, it is still naming it starting at 61. Okay, once the process finishes, you should see it go back to the directory and ready for a new command. And if you go into the clips folder, all of your clips should be ready to go. You may run into situations where a clip isn't long enough either before or after the marker. For this example, let's just say clip nine 
is not long enough. We need a little bit more room on the beginning end of it to get one of the kills in the round. Go into the CSV file, go to line nine, which is denoted right down here. Copy just line nine, paste it over into the CSV. Make sure your file name is the same. And I usually put these in a folder called clip fix. This is where you want to actually name the file clip 009, because if you don't do this, it's going to call it clip 001 and things can get a little confusing. Then all you have to do is increase the seconds before and then the only other thing you need to do is create a folder in that same directory called clip fix or whatever you end up calling the folder make sure that your cmd is still in that same directory as long as it is you can paste the code in there no problem and run through the code just the same and then you will be left with a longer clip which hopefully includes everything you need my hope with this video is that i help at least a couple editors out there that have struggled with the workflow of twitch editing as much as i did in the start also a huge shout out to alka there will be a link to his website down below go show him some love as well if you guys have any questions be sure to leave them in the comments below or if you have problems while you're actually working i highly recommend you join my discord server there's a lot of editors in there already including myself and Alka that can help you with any problems you have with this tool. I wish you all the luck in your editing and I hope this tool can maybe help you save some time as well as frustration in your editing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, do the right thing, good vibes only, and never stop creating. Peace.